to minus four all over the absolute value of the square root of x plus two, that this must be definitely less than the absolute value of x minus four, divided by a number. We can divide this by a number that's smaller than this number, that inequality will hold. And we do have a number that's smaller than it. It's the square root of three plus two. Okay? But we need this thing here to be less than epsilon. So let's make this thing less than epsilon. So let's consider, consider when x minus four all over root three plus two is less than epsilon. Well, this implies that x minus four must be less than root three plus two times, oh, times epsilon. So we've now bounded, we've now found an appropriate delta in terms of epsilon, okay? So now we have two deltas. We have a delta under a restriction, and now we have a new delta that we could actually choose because we know that x minus four is actually less than this specific value. Okay. So let's choose the min. Let's now do this particular proof. Okay. Okay. So let's do this particular proof. So now what we're going to do is this is we're going to, let's say, choose, we're going to choose delta to be equal to the min between one and the square root of three plus two times epsilon. Let's say, let's say that delta equals one okay, is this min. Okay. So this is like, this is like case one. Well then, what does this imply? Well, this implies that one must be less than the square root of three plus two times epsilon, which implies that one over the square root of three plus two must be less than, must be less than epsilon, okay? So now let's use our delta, okay? So what have we to do? So here's our really, here's our proof, yeah, okay? So given an epsilon greater than zero, consider, choose, delta to be equal to one, okay? Uh, uh, such that, such that for each and every x minus, well, in this case, where's our limitant? x minus four is less than, is less than one, okay? That that needs to imply that the square root of x minus two, the absolute value of the square root must be less than epsilon. So now we to use this fact to show this, okay? So from x minus four being less than one, Okay. Well, what does that imply? That implies that x minus 4 all over the square root of x plus 2 is definitely less than 1 over the square root of 3 plus 2. We know that that's actually true, okay? because the square root of 3 plus 2, okay, if this is true, okay, well then this thing here, because this, this here is a bigger number than the square root of 3 plus 2, so this must be true as well. But look, we know from our choice of delta that one over root three plus two is actually less than epsilon. So this implies that x minus four over the square root of x plus two is in fact less than epsilon. And this thing here, this thing here, okay, we know through implication that this thing here is actually the same as this thing here. So this actually is, <coughs> this is f of x minus l. Right, this thing right in here is f of x minus l. So we've just proven it for when delta is equal to one. So let's now choose when delta is the other possible min. Let's say, let's say delta equals the square root of three plus two times epsilon, okay, is, is our other possible value, okay? So our proof, so our proof. So once again, given any epsilon greater than zero, if we choose, if we choose delta, delta to be equal to the square root of three plus two, okay? And for each and every x, for each and every x that satisfies the condition that x minus four is less than delta. Now we've just chosen delta to be this value here, the square root of three plus two times epsilon. We need to show that this thing here, <coughs> excuse me, we need to show that this thing here implies that the square root of x minus two is less than epsilon. We need to show, we need to show that this is actually true. So let's, so from, from our premise, okay, that X minus four is less than delta and our choice of delta is the square root of three plus two times epsilon, okay? This implies that the square root of X minus four all over the square root of X plus two must be less than, well, if this is true, If I do, we know that this is less than this, so if I divide this side by a number that's smaller than this, 
And have I got a number that's smaller than that? I do. It's actually the square root of 3 plus 2. Okay. Uh, this implies then that x minus 4 over the square root of x plus 2, its absolute value, must be less than, well then, they cancel, it must be less than epsilon, as required. And that completes, that completes our proof. A little bit tricky this was, yeah, because we ended up with we ended up with a multiple of epsilon that seemed pretty nasty looking, the square root of three plus two. Uh, but in any rate, that's the choice of epsilon that we, we, we would need to choose so that this would actually that this would actually work. And what we've seen is in both cases when we choose delta to be the min of those two possibilities, we can take our premise and we can deduce from our premise our conclusion. And when we take the other value as our delta. And when we take our premise, that we can deduce from our premise also our conclusion. So it works for both cases, and hence the limit as the square root of x of the square root of x is x tends to four must actually be equal to two. Okay, guys. Once again, this is Jonathan Lambert with Maths and Stats, uh, and I hope that this video, uh, another video in our series of videos dealing with calculus and limits and in particular epsilon delta proofs, I hope that this made. Uh, made sense. I hope it was intuitive and more importantly, I hope that was helpful. And thanks for watching. Okay, bye bye.